You wanna go camping? You wanna go camping? All right, let's go. Hey guys, Brooke Whipple here. Welcome to my channel. It's been a long couple of days. It's warmed up a little. It's time for an overnight. It's time for dinner and sleeping under the stars. You with me? Let's go. Ah, here we are. It's good to be back at the shelter again. Nice and dry in there. I like that. What I'm gonna do is get this pack off, get a fire started quick so it's gonna get dark, and get to eating. Looks like we got a cat camping with us tonight too. That's all right, I don't mind. try to do this fast we're losing daylight now nah, this ain't food I want to show you guys this this is my fire starter from Vancouver Island and this is it's, oh, it smells amazing first of all this is cedar bark inner cedar bark shredded and then melted with pitch and this starts a fire so quickly. I love it. This is, this is how I did it on Alone Season 4. Brought a whole bag of it home. So we're going to use that to start the fire. I also brought some birch bark in my pocket. I'm usually not far without birch bark. So I'm going to use that too. Be amazed how quickly this lights up. Some of these little twigs going. Absolutely gorgeous night. It's so warm. So, so warm. Get a little something on the ground first. Buffer that cold ground and then I'll run off and get some more get this fire going get dinner cooked before it gets dark won't be able to film
Daisy. What are you doing? It's back there brown. I got the Alaskan butter cougar with me tonight. All right, let's give this a whirl. go. Black oily birch bark smoke. I love it. There, Daisy. We gotta get the bivy out. We can sit down. Yeah. Hi. Oh, it's nice already. Just makes it feel like home. Hang up my ferro rod. I don't know where it's at. already. Oh, that's so nice. Would you like some canvas to sleep on? Huh, little girl? Hey. Where's your chicken? Where's your chicken? Did I just pitch it? Oh, there it is. A little spot for you, baby. Brought a canvas. One to lay on, and one for Maisie to lay on. So we can get off the snow. Here you go, baby. Here you go. Is that better? Is that better? Yeah. I like that. That's a good girl. Get this fire going. That's nice. So I have the most amazing dinner planned. It's gonna blow your face off. Wait till you see this. What I've got tonight, tomato basil soup. And it's gonna go with ham and cheese, garlic bread sandwiches, grilled over the open fire. Yeah. I'm gonna get all my goodies out. Nice. So good to take a break from your everyday life and the hassles and the stresses and just to get out and sit around a campfire even in the winter. It's just amazing. Highly recommend it. And if you can add food and a little beverage, all the better. I got a little bit of wine here. Well, here's my goodie bag. Got some bread. Here's my cup. 
little pre-wash. <laughs> that should do it. I'll let this fire die down a minute before uh, I cook on it. Cheers, guys. Mm. That's delicious. That, that is just, this is worth the effort. Getting outside, even in the middle of winter, eat a little bit of a warm up, come out and enjoy it. You know, it's just amazing. Ah, oh, that's nice. By the way guys, this is one of the most handy things I've ever purchased. I got this at a yard sale for like 50 cents. It's just a little fold up camping grill. One of the most awesome things I've ever come across for cooking over the fire. It just really makes it so much easier to get a flat spot and to be able to cook over the fire. It's just amazing. Well guys, before it gets too dark, I want to show you some little gadgets that I've recently purchased. Uh, kind of just fun little things to uh, light up the camp, the camping area. Now this is an LED rope light. And what you do is, is it's, it's battery powered. So I've got um, this battery pack. This is just like a typical, uh, you know, portable little charger for any kind of your small devices. But you plug it in and check out this LED rope light. It is so cool. And so now I'll probably be able to keep filming when it gets dark because I can, I can drape this up above me and have some really cool lights. And it comes with, it comes with these little, uh, kind of like, kind of like a zip tie would be that you can hang it up behind you and whatnot. So I'm going to do that right now. This is, it looks so cool. Oh my goodness, that's cool. So I'm going to like zip tie it here. These little rubber zip ties. And then I can have some light for filming. Kind of tuck it in. How cool is that? <laughs> Look at that. That is so cool. Oh man, I'm loving this. That's awesome. Kind of gives me some light so I can still keep filming. Okay, the other cool thing I want to show you is I got these two I got these two lantern solar lanterns. And what they're inflatable. And what you do is just blow them up. I've already charged them by the sun today. So check them out. I wanted to do, I wanted to do a comparison to see, okay, this is like the brand name. This is called, um, this is a Lucy light. These are a bit more expensive. If you go on Amazon, it's gonna cost you like 12 bucks, or I'm sorry, this is gonna cost you like 20 bucks or so. And then here's like this off-brand one I found, and this one was only like 11. So I wanted to see the difference between the, the brand name, solar, inflatable lantern, and the non, name brand solar inflatable lantern. So I'm gonna blow these up right now. And we could have even more party lights. I'm already so digging these lights. It's like I can now film in the dark. So what you do with these is kind of just pull them apart. But I have found I need my Leatherman to do it because the valve, the valve stem is like, it's so hard to like grasp with your fingers and you have to squeeze it because it's one of those ones that you blow up and you squeeze to get the air in. And by the same token, like it's just hard to deal with. So I'm gonna pull it apart with my Leatherman. 
The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze it and then blow. And that's all it takes. It's all blown up. Now, kick the light on. <laughs> I got light. How cool is that? Oh, and the butter cougar found my seat. You little stinker. So now I've got a lantern here, and this has got a couple of different settings. So that's like the low setting, and then you can do a higher setting. It's got a blinking setting. It also has a red blinking setting. So that's pretty cool. I can hang this up in here and get light. So that's what the name brand one looks like. <clears throat> it's the same problem with the off brand one, where you just can't even like pull it apart. So I squeeze it with my Leatherman to just kind of release some air. And I'm gonna use my Leatherman to blow it up so I can squeeze that valve. There's Maisie. And we're back in business. All right, let's turn this one on. Just press the top. Look at that. All right, that's low, that's high. That's not too bad, and that's, that's solar powered, so that's, that's pretty cool. They have these little, um, just a little piece of plastic here. You can hang it up with some paracord. Hey, Butter Cougar, this is my chair. Oh, you big tubby. This guy loves to camp. He's a camping kitty. Do you like the lights? Yeah. All right, I better get dinner rolling. Why don't you go sit down there on the canvas? That's where I need you to be. I'll make dinner. Hang some more of these lights so we can light this joint up. I'll get one on each side. How cool will that be? Yeah. All right. All right, Tubby. You're really needing to move. Okay. We shake the snow off. You can go down here. All right, guys, I got a good bed of coals now. Oh, I don't really have a bed of coals. It's just a manageable fire now. So I'm gonna start my soup and my sandwich. We got this awesome tomato basil. Oh, it's gonna be so good. It's okay, buddy. Okay, Jesse. In goes the soup. Stinker, he wants on this chair. Hi, buddy. Not enough room. Not enough room, fatty. All right, so we got soup on. Just on the edge there. This guy just wants up on my stool so bad. There's not enough room, Tubby. There's not enough room. You're too fat. Oh, you're so precious. It's a good boy. Maisie's out in the snow. I put a canvas down for her. She's in the snow. Oh, just 
love having the animals out here with me. It's so nice. So what I got is some garlic, artisan garlic bread. I'm gonna slice it and I'm gonna do like a ham and cheese sandwich with my tomato basil. Me and Maisie are gonna share it. Put that to the edge. I brought a little uh, cast iron skillet with me. Which, you know, tubby, you gotta get down. You don't have any spot to sit. So I got this awesome little skillet here. And check out what I found. This is why I wanna do a ham and cheese. Canned ham. I've always wanted to try one of these. And I finally found one the other day. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna take this camping. We'll do a meal with it and see what these things taste like. Not you. This great little skillet I've got. I'm gonna do my sandwich on that. I'm gonna get it heated up. Oh, this guy will eat anything. He's so fat. Don't eat my butter. Get going, fatso. Ooh. You stay there. Maybe see something. Let's enter my soup. I'm kinda interested to see what this is gonna what this is gonna be like. It's a garlic bread. It's so good. A big hole in it. Might as well just take a bite. Mm. Hey! It's bread, you goofball! Hey! No! There we go. Got some bread cut up. My cat's gonna eat it. Getting this pan heated up. Here's something out there. What the heck is that? Huh. Something's going on out there. Maisie's growling and I just heard some screeching noises. Oh, I don't know. Let's take a look at what this looks like. Oh. You know what that looks like? That looks like spam. See if it tastes like spam. It's got the consistency of spam. Yeah, pretty much just like spam. I will say it's pretty good though. I'll eat it. I'm sure Maisie will eat it. I bet you that cat right there will eat it too. Yeah, it's pretty good. Flavor similar to spam, but maybe a little different. Okay, so we got the ham. We got our bread. I'm gonna butter. It's getting hot. I'm gonna put some butter in there. We'll put our bread in there. Layer in some ham, some cheese. Go with our soup. It's gonna be amazing. Oh yeah. I'm gonna let that soak up a bunch of butter. Good thing the bears are sleeping right now. <laughs> and that'll be our top piece. So I'll put this back in and I'm gonna put it on the fire. Look at the soup. Soup's doing good. Getting nice and warmed up. 
Now I'm going to attempt to slice a piece of ham out of this. Just a nice, some nice thin pieces. I don't want too much. Oh, well, Maisie must be really interested in something else because I guarantee you if she was here, she'd be all over this ham. So I'm going to put some slices on our sandwich. I think I hear it coming. <laughs> Jesse, 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 there you go. There you go, buddy. Want some ham? What's with that? Oh, yeah, you like ham. There you go. All right, I think what I'm going to do actually is, because it's so cold, I'm going to fry up this ham first and then put the bread in. I'm going to do it all together. Warm that ham up. So it's not so cold. Ooh, soup is looking good. Gonna have an awesome sandwich. Yum. All right, guys. I've been heating up this the bread and I've been heating up the bread and the ham. Now I'm going to put it on there. Steaming up my camera. Ooh, that's hot. That is hot. Oh, yeah. It's all nice and caramelized on there. Come on, get over there. Put that piece on. All right, now goes the cheese. All right, get the cheese melting. Put that top piece back on. Oh man, soup is looking good. Yeah, this is awesome. Look at that sandwich. Oh my goodness, that is looking delicious. And that soup, wow. What do you think, buddy? Where are you going? Looking for more ham? Look at that, wow. Deliciousness. All right, I think it is time, people. Goodness, look at that. Wow. There you get this pot off. There we go. Well, look who shows up just in time for dinner. I threw you some ham, it's out there. Oh my goodness. Just look at how that turned out, guys. That's amazing. Garlic. Ham and cheese over the fire with tomato basil soup. Oh man. I'm gonna cut this in half. Oh, soup's getting too hot. Oh, look at that. I come down here and take a bite. 
Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Mm. Wow. Well, what I need is soup to dip it in. Well, I'm pretty happy with that ham. That's pretty good. Let's get some soup rolling. So I got tomato basil soup with garlic bread, ham and cheese. Mm. That is one amazing campfire meal right there. Mm. There should be a law. This tastes so good. Mm. Wish you were here. Smoke it killing me. Man, this wind tonight is right at my face. Well, that was absolutely an amazing meal. Holy cow. Had to move out. The uh, smoke is coming directly from the south tonight, right into the shelter. Can't sit there. My cat, though, <laughs> he's on my backpack. Off the ground, cozy. sit here and stare at the fire. Best thing you can do. Tell you what, I am absolutely loving these lights out here. I can't tell you what a psychological boost this is. Oh wow. I mean, for being someone who has spent a lot of time alone in the wilderness, outside, just having, I mean, having a fire is a big deal, but having some lights out here, it just seems so much more friendly. It's just amazing the difference it makes. I highly recommend all these lights. It's just it just lightens the mood. It just feels so awesome out here. I just, I love these lights. I'm so psyched. Really cool addition to nighttime camping. Very, very cool. I think our little warm spell here is only supposed to last a day or so. So I had to get out here tonight and, and get some get some outdoor time in been cooped up too much lately you got cat in there 
it's all cozy. <laughs> Sitting on my bag. How you doing, Tubby? All right, buddy. I gotta get, I gotta get this place set up. I'll get you another cozy spot. But I need my bag. It's Maisie's pig. Just hang out here for a minute, buddy. I'll get you set up. Let's get this party started. We got a nice, warm, down bag. It's gonna keep me so toasty warm tonight. Just needs to fluff out. There we go. Jesse, buddy. Jesse, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Come here, buddy. Come on, I got a better spot for you. Come on. Come on. There you go, come on. It's okay, it's just a little fuzzy. Get in here. There, isn't that nice? Isn't that cozy? Let me sit right there. Maisie, you'll come in later, too. I want to lay there, too. <laughs> No, 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 no. You can't lay on there. Just the kitty. You gonna settle in? There. Everybody's settling in. Look at that. All right. I like that. Isn't it cozy in here? Good girl. Did you have a good dinner? Did you have a good dinner? Did you? Ah, well guys. Oh, it's been a nice evening. Oh, here comes my kitty. He's ready to come in and go to sleep too. All right guys, my fire is about died out and I'm getting sleepy. I'm gonna call it and turn the lights off and dive into the sleeping bag. <laughs> Morning, guys. Whew, it's a good night. I stayed pretty warm. This bag's great. This is a really warm down bag. Coming back to say good morning. Hi! Good morning! Hi, baby! Don't step on my back. Good morning. Let's make a fire. Go! Let's get up and make a fire. <laughs> she found her toy. <laughs> I had to bring her some toys. Like the weather has turned kind of drippy. Get a fire going, get some coffee. Sounds like a plan. You got your toy? You got your toy? Did you find your toy? Get it. Get your chicken.
love that smell. Got one of these little just over the cup coffee filters, just a little paper cone. You just put your coffee in and brew yourself a pot. Pour over coffee, it's the best coffee. I do this at home, I don't even own a coffee pot. Get one of my wool socks, that'll do the job. Smells so good. Mm. Coffee outdoors in the morning around a campfire, it's amazing. I get these pretzels, and they come in these nice plastic containers that are good for taking camping for all your food stuff. Works out pretty good. Go. I'm going to add a little powdered milk. Yeah, coffee. Coffee around a campfire. Oh, that's good. Oh, the smoke. <laughs> I've got a bit of this dry muesli. It's really good. I just like eating it plain. It's got raspberries and apples. Oh, I lost the raspberry. Freeze dried raspberries. Well, I like just eating it like, like a trail mix. Sort of dry, but I just like eating that. Well guys, that's gonna do it for me. Thanks so much for joining me on this winter shelter overnight. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your comments below. Tell me what you're doing this winter to get outside and get happy. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Until next time, this is Girl in the Woods. She gone. Oh, don't forget to get outside and get happy.